Hello. Hello. I am Buddha. Buddha, thank you. Welcome. Uh, thank yes. you for coming through. Hello, Buddha. Thank you for coming. Last time I was Hello, here. Buddha. Hello. Hello. Last time I was here, I spoke to you about the heart chakra. And I want you to remember all the things about the heart chakra because it is the center chakra. It is an important chakra for many, many reasons, as you know. It, it is the chakra of love. It is the chakra of health for many, many people. It is the chakra that brings to you telepathy. It, but now, we'll speak about the fifth. The throat chakra, the chakra of communication, the chakra of peace and understanding, the blue chakra. There is so much to learn about the chakras in the body and how they come together and make one full body, one full colorful rainbow of sensibilities and senses and understandings and of past lives. You understand that all the chakras hold your past lives within them and you bring things into each chakra that have meant so much to you in your past that you must bring them along to this life so that they may help you to understand how to move forward and to gain the knowledge, understanding and teachings of this world. The blue chakra, the communication chakra, is so important because many of you refuse to speak. When there are times that you could speak and you feel it coming up within you that there is something to say but yet you do not speak it. Why? It is resonating with you to speak and yet you cut yourself off. The communication chakra is for the positive growth of mankind. It is for the positive growth one-on-one. -on -one. Those things that you intend to speak forth that are good for others to hear. I am not talking about gossip. I'm not talking about those things that lack spiritual dimension. Although we speak them constantly in spirit and in human form. Speaking of things that make little difference is something that we do. However, when you intend yourself to be speaking to a group or speaking into another person's life or going to places where there will be many people, make sure you pray that your blue communication chakra is open to be saying the things that are needing to be heard by not only one, but many. Now you may say to yourself, or ask me, how do I know if what I am going to speak is actually the truth? You will know by your resonation. You will know by the questions in your heart and in their heart and you will know by when the words come out if they resonate as true for you as they do for the one listening or those listening because you will see the expression on those faces if you are speaking to a group you will see their faces you will know what they are experiencing in many senses you will see either questions on their face, or you will see joy on their face, or you will see understanding. You will know these looks by just gazing at them. Do you understand these things? Yes. Your knowledge of others is incredible. And your communication to others is incredible. Now, 
I have something else to tell you about that chakra. Many times people move up in their chakras, the, blue, the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, and they stop at the blue. Why? Why is it so difficult to get to the higher levels of understanding because you stop at the blue? Because you do not question, you do not speak that which is resonating within you, you let things with your families especially build up. You want to say something, but you don't say it, and you press it down, you press it down, you press it down, you cannot do that. You must find the moments, the understandings, in which to communicate the things that need to come out, the truths that you need to speak to one another. It is not that you're defiling one another with the truth. You do not defile one another with the truth. You enhance one another with the truth. If it is in love, if you speak out of hatred, yes, it will defile. But no, it will not defile if it is spoken from the love that you have for this person. And you must speak that intent. My love for you is wonderful. You are a perfect and true, wonderful human being, but I must speak something from my heart. It could be that you haven't said, I love you enough. Or it could be that there is something they are doing to harm themselves, and you haven't spoken it to them. It could be that there is a message from spirit that you need to speak, and you keep it down. Let your blue chakra shine. Let it resonate that you can speak as well as anyone else. Do not push down communication. Do not push it down. Let it come in love. Let it come in understanding of the truth. Let it come for the ways and understanding to others. Many of you stop here because you cannot bring yourself to the courage of spoken word, which is out of, even out of love. You feel that it might be harmful. You think that it might hurt someone, but if you speak it out of love and tell them, you have your own faults, you have your own things that they should be speaking to you. They should be speaking to you as well. It is not that you should always be speaking to them, but they should be speaking to you as well. Communication. This is helpful for the heart chakra, for the telepathy to bring forth. If you cannot communicate here, but you can communicate here, this can be enlightened by better communication here. Do you understand? Coming out yes. here. Yes. Let this light burn into this light, come out of here, and fill all the other chakras that we've spoken about so far. Plus, it does affect the third eye and the crown, which we will get to one day. But what I want to tell you now is that communication, the love of giving the truth, Letting the spirit speak, letting the heart speak, letting the brain understand the purposes of the voice. Without a voice, if, if you had nothing to say, if, you're, if you had no, nothing to give to the world, you wouldn't have a voice. You wouldn't have that voice. It would be taken away. It would be taken away and all you would have is telepathy. But telepathy is wonderful too. But still in telepathy, you can keep things from others. 
that throat chakra is important. That throat chakra also has other meanings. The blue, peace, peacefulness, tranquility. When you speak, you should not be speaking to cause turmoil in any way. It should come out. If you understand the, the meaning of, of this blue color, this blue chakra, it is peaceful. It is understanding. It is calming. Ah, yes. There are times for excitement and speaking of happiness and joy and bursting forth with expletives and happiness. But when you are speaking out of wisdom from the heart, this is the filter of peace. The filter of love and understanding, of calm, of presence, of spirit. Do you understand? It is part of who you are to communicate with love and understanding, like I am trying to do with you right now. Speaking with love and calmness, but yet fully understanding that there's a lesson to be learned and things within you that you do not understand. Oh yes, I will be patient, but I will be calm. I will be tranquil and loving. Let this be your wisdom as you speak. Let it come out in the way that they will understand as beneficial. Benefit them. Benefit yourself. Because if you are harsh in your words, they will hear that. You may not. You may not hear yourself. I would say in your modern day and age, you should connect something to yourself that records how you speak to others because when you listen to it back, you're going to be amazed at how harsh you sound at times. You're going to be amazed at how harsh you sound at times. You will be amazed. And then you will be going, oh my goodness, I need to bring tranquility to my voice at these times. When, especially those times when you meant something very loving and good and it came out differently. Differently. Not as you wanted it to at all. And they heard differently. Much love is to be given with the voice. Let us listen to our own voices and perhaps learn how to speak to ourselves as lovingly as we want to speak to others. Because there are things, darknesses and shadows, there are things that are third dimensional. It is not a fault of your own. You were born into this dimension and there are people all around you that give you their version of this third dimension. Do you understand that? Their version of third dimension may not be the same as yours, but yet you can bring tranquility and love, calmness, peace to the world. Not that other things are not valuable, but there is not enough peace on the world. Not enough peace in the world. Not enough tranquility in the world. You hear all these people say, oh, they're so nice. They're so sweet. They're so good. I can't stand having all that around me all the time. Do you know why? It's not natural in the third dimension to be peaceful, quiet, tranquil, loving. It is much easier to move along with your peers and do exactly what they do. But do you know what? Do you know what? Your inner peace is important. 
Yes, your inner peace guides your life. If there's no inner peace, you are in chaos with the world. You are moving in the world in a way that is like a pinball machine, just bumping off of things and rattling through and rolling around. You are not purposeful. Bring yourself to a, a peaceful inward understanding. And then you can do anything you want. You can be raucous. You can be hilarious. You could be anything. But remember, the spirit is important. Be who you are in your perfect self. But remember, do not, do not forget the calm. Do not forget the wisdom. Do not forget the communication that can be so important to your friends, the world, and even to yourself. Because when you're speaking those words of Windism, you are also hearing them and making them greater within you. I ramble on. But I do not want to. I believe you understand where I'm coming from at this time. I think it was very logically built. Uh, you spoke about communication and then about peace. I think both messages are very well connected. Yes. Especially bringing your inner peace to the words that you speak. Connect those feelings to your communication, they will not be misunderstood that way. They will not be misunderstood. You, many times on your third dimension, the things that you say are misunderstood. Don't misunderstand what others are saying to you and bring it through clearly in peace and love. If there is a question, I have one or two minutes. Yes, please. Uh, this is Noha Buddha. Good to have you here. Hello. Um, I'm asking, uh, actually, my throat felt much better when you spoke about the third chakra. Uh, and throat chakra, rather. Uh, my question is about the, it's not about the throat chakra, it's about Om, the word Om. Om. Om what does it mean, really? It has so many meanings in the in the internet. It has so many interpretations. It has uh, the it means the universal universal sound, and also it means God. So what is it exactly? It's a connection. You see, we connect by sound. I speak communication by sound, and the Om is a sound, is it not? It brings everyone into the same vibration as the Om. The Om is a vibration, a sound that connects us all together and brings down God because God is part of that connection, brings everyone into a similar telepathic state of mind in some ways. You may not be thinking the same things, but you are connected in mind, body, and spirit by the sound of Om. It relaxes and it brings forth those things of the spirit because when you're all connected by one thing, one sound, one vibration, is it not a great thing to share? within yourselves. It brings likeness to those that are not like each other. It brings a sense of unity to the group and purpose in many ways. You understand? Yes. Is that the explanation yes. that you find? I find it, uh, it, makes, uh, it resonates with me. Thank you very much. Much love to you. Much love to you. I have another question. It just popped out of my mind. Have you ever thought about reincarnation? I have done so, but I am not I doing so at this moment. Aha, uh -huh. okay, great. Brother Buddha, yeah. Hukua inme 
in the strongest allowances in this now moment. Thank you. Be well. I allow you fully into my being so as to reincarnate into this now moment. Thank you. In my perspective, in my fractal. Be the vibration of all that is. What sound will connect me with your vibration? Yes. What? Do you have any more questions? Come again and ask for more questions on previous chakras and uh, all together. I will leave you now then. Thank you. Much Thank love you. to you and much good communication. <laughs> for I love you and the words come from beyond the throat into your reality. And if they mean anything, if they mean anything, you will feel them in a way that resonates with you in an entire chakra way. Do you understand? Because love yeah. is part of all the chakras, not just one. This is the one that speaks it. And that is a beautiful thing. Yes. Much love. Beautiful. To you. Much love. Much Namaste. love. Come back soon, please. What? Oh, hello. Hey, Jim, welcome back. Thank you.